All right, so number 61, this is one of those initial value problems, and in particular, the uh, problem wants us to find uh, a function f, whereby um, uh, given that the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f at any point, x comma f of x is f prime of x, or the derivative of x, and that the graph of f passes through the given point. So here's the point that we know the graph passes through. We also know this is the point of tangency. So this is the point of intersection between the line, the tangent line of the function, and uh, the tangent line to the function we're supposed to find, and uh, the function itself. So this is the point of tangency. And remember what the derivative does. The derivative gives us our slope. So we have what our slope is going to be. We can figure out what the slope of the tangent line is going to be here. And, and what I want to do in this video is kind of work backwards. And I kind of actually want to look at a graph as well as we do this. So what I want to do is first I want to find, the problem doesn't say to do this, but I want to do this with a graph just so we can really be sure what we're doing and seeing what the problem of uh, taking the antiderivative or finding anti uh, or uh, the integral, what that problem is really asking us to do. So what we have here is we have our derivative function, and we know that if we plug in zero, if we put in the x value into our uh, derivative function, then we are going to get out the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so then this way we know that the slope of our tangent line, e to the first power, that's going to be one. So if I wanted to construct my equation of my tangent line. And the first thing I know is that my slope is one and then using point slope form we can know that to complete the rest of this equation we can say y minus three and x is equal to zero. So to kind of make clear what I've done here is I've graphed that line. So here is the here's the tangent line to this, this function f that we're trying to find. Here's the tangent line, and we know the tan point of tangency is going to happen right there at 0, 3. That's going to be the point of tangency. Now, we don't know what this function is going to look like yet. That's what we're trying to do in this problem. It might be this concave down thing. It might be this concave up thing. It might be this kind of crazy curve where whatever it's going to be, though, this line, this blue line, is our tangent line. All right, and that's what we just did here. We found what essentially amounted to our tangent line. But really, that's not what the problem's asking. The problem's asking, hey, what is the function f? What's this original function? And so let's proceed with that aspect. In order to find the function f, given the derivative function, we need to take the integral. We need to take the derivative, uh, the integral with respect to x. Now, here's going to be the issue here. If we want to find the function f, we're going to get something here. We're going to get something with some terms, but then we're going to get this plus c at the end. And this is what's kind of new with these problems that we're doing now relative to the ones that we've done before. So what we're going to need to do then is use the point of tangency back into the function. Because remember, the, this point of tangency is on the function itself in order to go back and solve for c. Okay, so let's do this. So we're taking the integral of e to the x plus x dx. And in previous videos, you know, I took the derivative of term by term, but what we're going to do is we're going to get so fast at this that we know we can just kind of do that in our head. We can take the integral of e to the x, which is just e to the x, that's nice, plus the integral of x, which we know is x squared, but then the one-half coefficient to compensate for this too. So we know then that f of x is equal to e to the x plus 1 half x squared plus c. Now what is this plus c? And this is the initial value problems. What we have to do is use the point of tangency, which we know is on this function. We know this point of tangency is on this function because this is where the tangent line touches the original function. And plug these values, 0, 3, back into the original function and solve for c, like so. What we're trying to do here is find f of 0 is equal to x to the 0th power plus 1 half 0 squared plus c. 
Then we know the output of f of 0 is 3, so 3 is equal to e to the 0, which is 1, plus 0 squared times 1 half, 0, plus c. So then solving for the c, and we get 2 is equal to c. So f of x is equal to e to the x plus 1 half x squared plus 2. And now we can go and test this. So we can go ahead and plug this into Desmos and see, hey, for this function, whatever this crazy function looks like, does our tangent line touch it at this point in tangency? Only once. So switching over, turning this on. So this is our f function. Turn this on. And sure enough, there it is. Check it out. This red function is our original f. The blue line is our, uh, is our tangent line. And 0, 3 is the point of tangency. And we can see then that indeed this red function, this, this, this f function was correct. We can see that this has a, point, has, a, has a tangent line and its point of tangency is at 0, 3.